Sorry, I'm playing around on the C8. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Uh, maybe you're busy over the weekend. I hope you had a chance to see the two special uploads I had for you folks on Saturday and especially Sunday's video. And if you watch Sunday's video, I'm gonna extend that opportunity that you have a chance to win one of those pink Corvette hoodies. You can find it via the videos tab up here on the YouTube channel or a link down below in the description. Wonderful conversations from two great guys talking about two great cars and what they mean in their lives. Uh, the conversation with Phil, three-time cancer survivor, and it was kind of cute off camera we were talking. I thought I had it, uh, and I didn't even put it in the vlog on Sunday. Uh, he was telling me the third time that his cancer was discovered is when he was working on a tree up on a ladder, cutting down this big giant branch. And as he cuts the branch loose, it breaks away, hits him in the chest, knocks him off the ladder, down on the ground, and breaks three of his ribs. When he's in the hospital, they do an x-ray. They say, hey, on your right-hand side of your lung, you've got three spots discovered his third cancer that he's now beating. And I said to Phil, I said, wow, you know, God does work in mysterious ways. And he goes, you know, that's fine. He goes, but he could have tapped me on the shoulder and let me know. He goes, knocking me off the ladder. He goes, that really hurt. <laughs> Again, check out that video. The link is down below in the description. So today is Tuesday. Normally we have for you a Tech Tuesday Q&A, but instead I have a fun C8 Corvette delivery and an awesome couple that I want to share with you guys. Uh, that's kind of what this Corvette thing generates. Just great people, and it's a pleasure for me to share them with you on the channel. So I do appreciate you watching. But in addition, this husband and wife were also part of a movie documentary that's in theaters, about a thousand theaters across the country that starts today. So I want to help get that message out. I think it's a great message. I know that you guys will enjoy it. I'm going to see the movie tonight myself. So before we show you Gary and Alexis, you're going to see me doing whatever it takes to, to get the job done. It was kind of funny that I brought my camera with me back here to pick up this car that's supposed to be ready for delivery. There's a customer sitting in my office right now, and I always like to drive up and get your reaction the first time that you see your car. But there's nobody here working. I wish I would have known that. This car is supposed to be ready to go. Um, I'm going to have to let them know, hey, go get lunch or something, because now I'm going to be the one that's washing the car, getting it ready for delivery, and then doing the delivery. That is what's... I'm gonna get in the soapbox here, but that is what's wrong with the youth today. There's no work ethic. Are you freaking kidding me right now, man? I, nah. do, I, do I need to say anything? You could tell by the look of my face. I'm trying to hide it, but I'm just, I try to say it. I can't say it, can't say what I want to say. Man, oh man. It's gonna be a long day, man. Gary's here with his wife. Oh my wow. Gosh. You waited long enough. And then yeah. he had to wait when he got here for a scheduled appointment because, as you guys saw, glad I had the camera with me. I was washing the car. I mean, I'm always searching for new content, but washing your car <laughs> was does, not one of them, man. He does everything. <laughs> How you doing, Lexus? Good. Good I mean, he's, he's, he's filming and blogging for all of you guys. He yeah. edits his own videos and yeah. he washes the car. Oh, yeah. I, think, I actually think he might have think he might have missed the spot. I did. Oh, okay, here. I'm sorry. <laughs> There it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this oh is awesome, gosh, man. man. This is beautiful. Well, and technically, so I'm breaking protocol here. This is a nightmare, man. You've been waiting almost two weeks now since yeah, the car got since here. since the car's got here. So you wait a year plus, watch the tracking page. You know it's here. Yep. There's not a darn thing you can do. Nope. You sent me some done. pictures. You were tormenting yeah. me. You yeah. sent me pictures of him smiling with the, dude, with the car. Like I was like, dude, are you, are you going skiing or something? I am, I yeah. Just, oh, let me try those on. <laughs> Here, you try them on. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, <bad. laughs> this is what happens when, you have to, when you've been doing this. He said he got here at 5 a.m. this morning. Right, right. And he's been here working stuff for everybody, and then, he, then there's no one to wash the car. Dude, you've been a big supporter just on the vlog. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, man. Some great ideas, and I think you and I are going to be working together at some point in the future. Yes, absolutely. I'm excited for your car, but more on that in just a second. Yes. This is his car, guys, and you want to see what he ordered. Let me throw a slide up here real quick and a couple of quick pictures, and we'll be back with more conversation with Gary.
know, and okay. thinking of the color, I mean, I love it. This is traditional, guys. The C1 was white with red. Right. And, and you and I talked on the phone last night, and you said, man, I had a tough time on the color. Yeah. But, dude, I think you did a great job on this. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, th I think GM did a great job with this car. Didn't you have some motivation on this color, someone in the family? or? The, I've always had. So my first car was a 1974 Javelin AMC. Still have it. Oh, wow. White with red. Had a red Dodge stripe down the middle. <laughs> And I've, my dad told me when I bought the car, because I'm, I'm the only car guy in my family. Okay. It, it skipped a generation. My grandfather raced cars. My other grandfather collected cars. He had a bunch of MGs and stuff oh, wow. like that. Oh, cool. My dad, it skipped him. Okay. Though I will say that when he saw the picture of this car, <laughs> yeah. he said, Tom, what do you want to do with that he car? Are you going to keep that car? Yeah. He keeps asking about it. So that's the first time. If that tells you the power of this car, it was the first time I've heard him. Yeah. He's got a rise out of him, yes. Mm -hmm. Very So, uh, But anyway, yeah, so my first car was white with red. Had, my dad's like, this can be nothing but problems, and he was actually right about that car. I've had nothing, <laughs> I've, any of you guys know, still have it. AMCs, <laughs> they're not around anymore for right. probably a reason. Beautiful cars, right. but I've had some problems with it. So, But Aww. I still have it. I'm not getting rid of it, so I, I'm, I'm sentimental about it. But yeah, this is, that's kind of the tradition for me. I had a white, yeah. I have a white Type R, red interior. Yep. And I was telling you, I've got an Aston Martin and some other stuff, and I was sure. in the market for a Ferrari. And this car for me, because I'm on the younger side, you know, all the young kids, we all want the, the exotics and all this stuff. So when I saw Yeah, that was kind of going to be my next question. You're yeah. not the typical, what we're seeing that in this new car. Yeah. And actually, let me get in the background here. So your car is there and you're in front of your car. Yeah. But we are seeing that with this new car. What GM intended was to bring in a broader band of demographics. The people that have never had Corvette, yeah. you're that guy. So why Corvette for you, man? What I mean, did it for you? So I've always liked Corvettes. I respect Corvettes, the performance, the history there. Yeah. I mean, but for me, the it, it's it's the stigma that comes with it. A lot of younger guys are like, ah, oh, Corvettes, that's the older guy's car or whatever. <laughs> Grandpa's supercar or whatever. So, and I never really participated in all that, but I have friends who do that kind of stuff. Right. But then this, when the C8 happened, when it hit, everybody changed. Every, all my friends want sure. a C8. All the young guys, are, they don't even know. I haven't told anybody about this car. So oh, really? Oh, good I'm for I'm going to surprise. I may be able to put some reaction videos, actually. I may send you some stuff. Okay. Pulling it in different places. I'll do it. It'll be seeing awesome. my friends freak out. <laughs> Love to share that. But, uh, yeah, the C8, they just did a really good job with the design of it. The mid-engine, obviously. I mean, Zora's wanted to do it forever. Right. Uh, his whole life. But uh, it's here. It's here. And I think it just it brings something new to the table that kids are excited about. So, it, I mean, it, it competes with anything out there right now. If you look at the 720S, uh, mm -hmm. any of the, I mean, the 458, this car is, is almost identical in, right. in size. It's like two inches longer. Yeah. But you have all the modern technology, faster than a, than a 458. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I, there's a video on YouTube, actually, of guys that switch keys. Yes. A guy has a 458, guy has a C8, and the guy, you see the look on the guy's face when he's driving the C8. Right. He starts off trying to hate on the car. He's, like, ready to hate on it. And then you just see the sinking feeling of, oh. And then at the end, he's like, yeah, I think I'm going to sell my We Ferrari. just had that conversation in a recent Coffee with Conti where the guy had his C8 convertible. He's driving across the country, and he met up with a guy with a Lambo. They drove each other's car, and really, truly, the Lambo guy said, hey, man, uh, no joke, I want to trade you keys. Yeah. And it was bizarre, but wow. that's the reaction from the supercar world. Yep. We've got a great value story. The price point's incredible. Uh, we've got a great heritage, but this car is our future. No it is, about it. absolutely. I was at Mid-Ohio watching the race. Yeah. And those C8s, the they're, the GT car, I mean, they destroyed everybody. Yeah, I know. And when they flew by, I was like, this is the future. Like, that's you can a, just see That's it. a problem. Yeah. Nobody's going to want to race us. I know. Because we're own... dialing it in and getting better, and like, okay, forget it. We're, they're just they're going to win. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Yep, that's right. That's right. So I'm excited. I'm excited to good to be a part of the to jump into the family. Fantastic. Well, sit and jump in your car, man. Why don't you sit in that car and see how that yeah, feels, I dude? I don't know how to picture. do this from the, the I was here the yep. day that you had the walkthrough or the walk Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's been a long time. It has been. Oh man. Now, I'm a lot shorter than wow. you, so I'm sorry. It's up kind of close. Oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. Jeez. Man, I like, don't know what to say. I'm actually, it's, I, I feel wow. emotional about this. No, and I get that part, so dude. So cool. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you so much. The carbon fiber inside. Yeah, you got a great spec. I thought about Lamborghini doors. And this, this is the reason why, before anyone hates me. Okay, no, that's okay. You I and I talked about this last <laughs> night, so let it roll, man. I'll, go ahead. I, I said, if it's already a Ferrari killer, and, and I'm a Ferrari guy. I got Ferrari shoes on. Oh, do you? 
So that's the thing that people don't realize. I have Ferrari <laughs> flags hanging in my garage. I've test driven a bunch of Ferraris. I've got friends that collect them. Right. I was in the market for a Ferrari until this car. So this car changed my mind. So uh, incredible. Anyway, that's a great statement. It, it really did. Yeah. It really did. And wow, uh, dude. But anyway, what was yeah. I even gonna say? Oh, oh we're talking about the Lamborghini, Lamborghini doors. doors. Yeah. So I said, if this car already is like an exotic killer. Why not just go ahead and add that extra little bit of pain for all the guys who are like, yeah, but well, your doors don't go up and they just get out. <laughs> <laughs> so That's almost, definitely a young guy mindset on yeah. that Lambo. I don't know. I'm a little reserved on the Lambo doors. And then you got to worry about warranty implications it. because we talked about that. If you got to start screwing around with the wiring the harnesses. wiring harnessing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and with this car being virtually almost all electrical, uh, you, you want to stay out of that wiring stuff, yeah. man, and not cause yourself any, any so, grief. I'm, I'll probably hold off because to me this is beautiful. It doesn't need it. Like yeah. I said, it literally would just be to add insult to injury. Yeah. It's just the getting out with the yeah. doors going up and watching the face of the guys that spend $250,000 dollars on these cars so and if you have one i'm not trying to hate on you either they're beautiful cars sure but absolutely the c8 is definitely there's something special with this car and i mean look at the demand let's look at your engine back here dude so the red engine oh cover is going to be a great compliment to just you know the engine parts are already red so you'll have that cover red but there's your carbon fiber there's your led lights that's part of the oh, appearance man. package so it looks sweet yeah it does dude they did an incredible job with this whole this car. I'm excited for the flat paint plane crank too. Oh, with the Z06. Yes. Yeah. You so, know what makes me nervous about that car though? Okay. Okay. For those of you that haven't driven this car, and we know that most of the Corvette clients don't do performance driving. Okay. This car's fast, and it's lightning quick, which you'll see. I can't imagine putting more horsepower in this car. Really? You guys are going to hurt yourselves, man. Better get some lessons <laughs> and just, you know, do what we were taught, and that's respect the car that you're driving. Get to know the car you're yeah. driving. Know the conditions in which you're driving. Don't go out there and try and impress everybody. Yeah. You know, it was just back in the uh, C7, Z06 days. You guys would buy their cars. There was a real strict protocol for break-in. Yeah. But what would they do? Grab a camera. Get on YouTube, right in front of the dealership. Let's do a whole shot, man, revving it, smoke going everywhere. And my car's not working right. I don't understand why. Because you're an idiot. You didn't right. break it in right. Yeah. I just didn't respect the car. Exactly. And it'll do everything and then some that uh, that it's supposed to and probably more than most of you can actually handle. But, uh, yeah. but a 650 horse in this setup, in a I, push power application, in a DCT. It's going to be crazy. Oh, dude. The car, I need to the car better come with a three-point harness and a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> That's all i got to say. Right. And a life insurance policy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that would be good, too. Sure. Yeah, we got to take care of the family, right? That's right. Uh, yeah, she goes, you want to go screwing around. Don't, don't leave me hanging. Right. She's <laughs> wanting to drive this car. So that's the other thing. Good. It's, I had, like I said, I have an Aston Martin, and I'm selling that. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Aston Martin's a pretty-looking car, but they just do not, they do not handle well. They do not drive as well as they look. So right. you drive that car for one reason and one reason alone, and that's for the, the, the badge. Yeah. and to show off so that's the, what you find with a lot of these cars but i have learned to respect the car because with that car headlights yeah. two grand oh my so God. it's like you learn to respect the car mm. and also like i said my grandfather raced cars and he taught me because I, I, right. I remember being with him and i'd get on the gas or whatever and he's like this isn't a racetrack and he taught me how to respect uh -huh. this yeah. is when you race and this is when you, you're a smart on the guy yeah yeah so I may be young, but I'm not dumb. Yeah, or absolutely. Not too dumb. Yeah, no, that's great. <laughs> God bless your grandpa. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing dude, amazing dude. So let's talk about something personal real quick. I mean, the car is the star, no doubt about it. Absolutely. But uh, I'm holding just a little vlog camera. But you do some stuff, and actually, here in town in Columbus, you've got a documentary that you put together. It's actually going to be showing. So tell that's us a little right. bit about that. So the movie's called Never Again. It's actually in a thousand movie theaters across the nation. Oh, October good for you, man. 13th. 13th and 15th. 13th and 15th. So I had the honor of getting to work on that film. I story produced it. She actually was edited, and she works with me in television. Yeah. She actually edited the film, or helped edit it. And we did the soundtrack and a bunch of stuff. But the story is, uh, it's about a guy who survived the Holocaust. It's about the dangers of media and how propaganda can get you to basically hate your neighbor and how that's used as a weapon. So Hitler mm -hmm. used media, he used propaganda as a weapon, and he actually said it was a lethal weapon in the hands of an expert. So the movie follows his story, and this is all true stuff. It's not a dramatization. We've got real interviews with these guys. We've got yeah. footage of the actual stuff. But that's not the real point of the movie is the Holocaust. It's actually, here's a guy who survived. He's 93 years old, mm -hmm. telling his story. And he talks about how 
he had to walk through forgiveness and love. Then you've got a flip side, you've got a Palestinian gentleman who grew up in America and Canada, younger guy, raised to hate the Jews, hmm. and he was told by everyone in his family and people that basically hating Jews is what they did, and he bought into the, the propaganda that he would watch. So school and different things, he, he was fed all these lies. So he goes to Israel, he joins a terrorist organization, goes to Israel, to see what it's all about and see what damage he can cause to these people that he's hated forever. Mm -hmm. And he has this realization that everything he was told was a lie. Wow. He said that he went there and everyone was nice to him. There were people of all different religions there, races, everyone's hanging out. And then he went to the Western Wall and he said he just had this moment of like awakening where it was like he realized there was more to life. And so he comes back. Yeah, and yeah. just you seeing that story and then these two guys yeah. end up meeting. I, I don't want to give it all away, but there's right. so much to it. It changed my they life working on it. They meet each other, become friends, and they start to travel the world, like sharing their story. The about danger of love propaganda over hate. and how wow. we need to choose love yeah. over hate. And I think and in that's America true right today, now, man. Yes. that's yes. true today, man. In America right now, it's such Very a needed relevant. message, or anywhere in the world. But I think that just the more we know, sometimes the less we know. Yeah. And with media and everything the way it is, and there's just right. information flying left and right, and everyone's got a story, and everyone's got their side of the story. We just have to take a step back and go, right. are we choosing love or are we going to choose hate? Yeah. Absolutely. So that's all I want to say. This is, a, uh, this is a powerful thing. just depends on how you intend to use exactly. it. Yep. Absolutely. Did you email me a trailer? I will send you one. I did not. Okay. I will, though. All right. Tonight. All right. So or we're going to edit in a trailer right now, right? Yeah, uh, right, right now. now. Right now. It all begins with words uttered by individuals, repeated by others. And became a philosophy, an ideology. When you become anything without realizing that it's happening, it's called brainwash. I hated America. The Jews were the reason for all the evil in the world. This we must not allow to happen again. All right, so what theaters is it going to be in, guys? So here locally, it's going to be at Marcus Theaters, Rave, and also Easton AMC. in the IMAX, AMC, Easton. Okay. So that's, I, I think there's more in Ohio, but it's actually right. at a thousand movie theaters across the nation. And what's the name of the movie again? It's called Never Again. Okay. So, and you can go to uh, neveragainthemovie.com for more information. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. And we're already working on other stuff, so we're, and me and this guy are probably going to work on some stuff, so. Absolutely. You never know. I told him I want, well, I've got, you guys know I have the Superman costume, so I said, hey, uh, I got to find a way you can get me, like, flying over a Corvette or over the lot or something yeah. like that. He goes, yeah, no That's problem. Easy. I'm like, okay, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me, man. We can do that. We'll have Absolutely. you race the Corvette. Absolutely. Because you're running. Every, every time, every time I, I hear Tad say that comment when the car was first launched and he says, uh, uh, every time you get into a Corvette, you feel like a superhero. And I'm like, yeah, man, that's, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to find out today. Yeah, absolutely. Like to wear the cape, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get the paperwork filled out. All right, let's go do that right now. <laughs> okay. You got let's it. Let's go do it. <laughs> Great day. And then there was like a long 10 second pause where we both didn't either ever said anything. Right. And then I said, are you still there? And he said, yeah. And I said, are, are you still there? And then I was like, you hang up first. And he's like, no, you hang up first. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first guy who's actually had fun talking to OnStar. Really? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. I wouldn't call it fun, but yeah, I made it fun. No, yeah, absolutely you did. <laughs> Dude, you're awesome. Gary, hey. thanks, man. Appreciate everything. I appreciate you. Be talking to you more. Absolutely. Uh, had a lot of fun today. Good luck with the documentary. Thank you. I'm gonna go see it Wednesday night. Awesome. Yeah. I I'm excited for you to see it and everybody out there. It's it is it changed my life completely. No doubt. Just to see how much you know, choosing love over hate is important. Yeah, great message, so, man. And that's what you do. You promote love on your channel. You're always out here loving on all of us, washing my car <laughs> when the guys don't show up. So yeah. Hey, whatever it takes, right? That's right. That That's the commitment. I appreciate yeah. you. I appreciate Thanks. you. All right, dude. Was well, there anything else I need to do? No, you just need to roll, man. I'm going to give you a little send-off, Pat. You know that thing? I got it. Yeah, yeah we got it. That's a it. thing, you know, so yeah. It is a thing. I mean, it's my thing, but you, you guys enjoy it, it's, so yeah. No, it's part of it. I'll yeah. look for that. So. Good. I'll talk to you soon when all we right, get your man. accessories back in, all right? Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Gary. Yep, bye-bye. All right, a little send off, Pat. Well, let's start over. I apologize. Send off, Pat. And yes, a little rub of the wing. Congratulations, Gary. You and your wife are going to love this thing, man. Now, some great feedback from a young guy that's well versed in exotic cars and just bought a new Mid Engine Corvette. 
Very good. This radio is just amazing. Every time I'm in the car, I gotta play around with it. Well, I told you guys that was a fun upload today. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate that. I had a surprise visit from one of our customers we never met. Well, we had a chance to meet them from Arkansas just the other day. Gonna share that soon with you on the channel and a lot more Corvette content. Cool people, the cool car, what's going on now, what's going on tomorrow. That's all on this channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video. Make those comments. I love hearing from you guys. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.